Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and today I think what we're going to unbox here is the HD Home Run from Silicon Dust. And I'd like to thank Jordan Patterson, uh, the Cheap Geek, also one of the co hosts of the Married with Tech podcast. Uh, Jordan has been helping me out uh, with my media center, and this is a big piece in the puzzle to try and cut the cable, or Fios TV in this case, and save some money while getting some great HD content and also uh, video and audio on demand. So let's uh, open this up here. And yes, it is the uh, HD home run. Now basically what this is, is a, it's a network tuner. It's a, it's, it's a two tuner setup, does an HD, and you can basically watch and record two shows at once. And uh, also, since it has a network functionality, like right here, you can basically run it over your network, say right to here to the iMac off camera, and record everything with ITV, which I have ITV 3.1 running on my iMac up here. And I have it on my MacBook Pro, so I'm assuming I can watch it on the MacBook Pro as well. I'm not too familiar with this stuff, so basically, Gonna kind of unbox it real quick, not really go through too much stuff. We get to use battery unboxing knife a lot in here. Because what I'm gonna show you is the other stuff I plan on using with the setup. So we have a, a home run a installation uh, CD there. Got the cables, got, um, just gonna go through real quick. Oh, I got lots of coax cables, great. I don't have any of these. Gives you two coax cables, one for each tuner. Uh, Ethernet cable and also the power cords probably in here Right there. Okay, good. I don't need to go buy anything. <laughs> I don't want to leave the house. I want to play with this Let's take this out here. Let's put this to the side over here and here it is real quick. The two tuners right here Ethernet power cord Very very small footprint looks bigger in the pictures at least that's what she said. Uh, but that's it from that. That's $126 on Amazon. Now here's the other pieces of the puzzle that I'm gonna try. Now this brand, I'm not exactly sure, of, but I wanna use an over-the-air antenna. Uh, basically this is an indoor antenna, it has a very small footprint, as you can see here. Uh, this retails for $60, an indoor or outdoor antenna. They also have a Turk one at CompUSA for $40. i am going to try this one first because the uh, return policy has no restocking fee at Radio Shack. So I'm going to give that a try, $60 bucks there. And also, since I'm running two tuners, one a splitter. And this was uh, $10.99 at Radio Shack. So right around the corner too, very close, no restocking fee. Another piece of the puzzle here to run all the stuff I need to run. Actually, let me go with this. Let me go on my MacBook Pro. Now, I used to have a Mac Mini and Media Center, but the Mac MacBook Pro can run the same way with Plex, which is basically an application for running a media center on your Mac. Uh, it's like Xbox Media Center, same thing, it's free. You can run Hulu on there, you can run Netflix, you can run Pandora or Last.fm. Uh, they have all sorts of content from Comedy Central just about everything out there. So Demoto was actually asking how he can run his laptop using that. Well, you have these ports over here, your mini display port, and you also have your speaker or your headphone uh, jack right here, I should say. And what you use is, for mono price, a mini display port to HDMI connector. Then the HDMI plugs right in there. Does not carry audio, so what you need is an adapter that plugs from the headphone port here, and the other end is an optical cable, or also known as a toss link cable. Now these two cables here cost about 10 bucks total on monoprice.com, highly recommended. Now I can pretty much run this onto my big screen TV and have all that done right there. Now I can leave this closed. I need something to use as a remote control on everything here. And obviously I could run up a bunch of different things uh, with this, this, and this, and all whole other thing. But what I chose to do is get the Harmony One from Logitech, highly recommended from everybody who I've talked to as far as running everything. This can even run my Roku and TV in the bedroom, basically just programs each activity 
to do that. And this was $179.99 at CompUSA. Uh, pretty expensive, but still it was $250 at Best Buy, so a lot cheaper at CompUSA here in Florida. So this has been unboxed a million times, and I don't want to waste that. I just want to show you the setup. So let's uh, let's uh, overview this again. I have the HD Home Run. This is a dual tuner that does HD. I'm going to need, obviously, an over-the-air HD antenna, and your channels will vary. I get about 17 to 20 here in Florida, but that's great. It's all my local channels and stuff. Then you will need a splitter to do this for the two tuner setup. So that's very easy. It comes from here, and then the two tuners come out here. So that's easy there. Now, for your on-demand content like Netflix and all that stuff, you can use an Xbox 360, or you can use Plex with your MacBook Pro or any other Mac that you have, or even if you're using an Xbox Media Center through Windows 7 or Vista or anything like that, you can do that. But these cables come in handy with your Mac. These total out to $10. Mini Display Port to HDMI, and also, I forget what it's called, but it's a Toslink adapter cable uh, from monoprice.com. Then the final piece, of course, is the Harmony One remote from Logitech. Controls just about any remote uh, or any uh, component that you want to throw at it. So that's about it. This is going to hopefully be a good home theater setup and be able to cut the, uh, the cable and save some money every month. So for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your media center endeavors.